Hi there, I'm Scott with B&H, and here are some real true facts. One, MacBooks are portable. That's pretty much a standard feature for laptops. Two, just because something is portable doesn't mean that it'll be used on the go 100% of the time. Sometimes MacBooks are used as part of a stationary desk setup. Three, when mobility isn't a factor, it is usually easier to work off of a screen that is bigger than most laptops built in displays and slash or to just use multiple displays in general. Four, the Apple Studio displays are fantastic monitors, so much so that they are sometimes overkill for someone's use case or simply out of their budget. Five, the BenQ MA32OU is a good budget alternative designed to fit nicely within the Apple ecosystem, both in terms of functionality and aesthetics. Six, today we're gonna to talk a little bit about how BenQ has tailored the MA32OU to specifically mesh well with MacBooks. The short answer to that is that A, the display colors are tuned to match the look of the built-in displays on MacBooks, as well as other first-party Apple displays, and B, the brightness and audio adjustment keys on the keyboard also work for the monitor. The longer answer lives in BenQ's Display Pilot 2 app, which manages all of the settings for the MA32OU monitor. From the Display Pilot 2 panel, you can control the monitor's color profile, brightness level, resolution, and enable functionalities like auto pivot, HDR mode, low blue light mode, and color weakness settings, which are an accessibility feature for folks of various types of color blindness. The real selling point though is the level of synchronicity that it allows for when used with a MacBook. The most obvious place to start is the MBook color profile. This is the default setting and is tuned to match the look of Apple's first party displays. That's just the starting point though, as previously mentioned, the keyboard hotkeys for brightness and audio control work on the MA32OU like it would for a MacBook's built-in display. Going further, you can also tether color settings and controls between the monitor and the MacBook's built-in display. Manual adjustments, like using the hotkeys on the keyboard, will apply to both displays simultaneously, as will automated adjustments like focus settings and circadian rhythm preferences. Even more impressive, though, is the ICC Sync functionality, which automatically syncs color rendition settings between the laptop display and the monitor, assuming that you're using the input color profile. I actually tested the monitor with both an M1 and an M4 MacBook Pro. There was a minor but noticeable difference in the color of the two built-in laptop displays, but using the ICC Sync, the MA32OU matched the color rendition of whichever laptop it was connected to without me having to manually change any settings. The end result is a seamless and cohesive look without much fiddling about. I mean, I still did plenty of fiddling about in the settings app, but that's really just because it's my idea of fun, and also I had to make a video about it. Honestly though, the UI is as simple and intuitive as adjusting settings on an iOS device, which BenQ was certainly taking notes from, and most folks will probably set them up within minutes of setting up the monitor and hardly ever touch them again. But in my excessive fiddling, I found some other nifty bits and bobs in the Display Pilot 2 app. The desktop partition functionality enables some nice customizable window tiling. Additionally, individual apps can be set to automatically use certain color profiles, which again saves some trips to the settings menu if that's a normal part of your workflow. One thing that I found particularly fun though was discovering that when I had the monitor connected to two computers, I could still adjust the display settings from the computer that it wasn't currently acting in the display for. I do not know when this could be useful, but I do think that it's pretty neat. So comment below if you can think of a good use case. So that covers the Apple integration aspects of the monitor. But what about the uh, monitor side of the monitor? The BenQ MA32OU is a 32-inch UHD 16x9 IPS display with a nano matte screen. It has 140 pixels per inch, a peak brightness of 600 nits, a contrast ratio of 1300 to 1, has 99% sRGB coverage, and 97% P3 coverage. There are eight color profiles, but I imagine that most folks will stick with the M-Book setting, which is the default out of the box. I also like the inclusion of the e-paper setting, even if I don't personally have a reason to use it. The included stand has a max height of 43.9 inches, can pivot 90 degrees, and can swivel 15 degrees in either direction. There are a functional number of ports, but not enough to fully act as a hub. There is one USB-C port that has 90 watt power delivery and DisplayPort Alt mode, another USB-C port with 15 watt power delivery, two USB-A 3.2 Gen 1 ports, two HDMI 2.0 ports, and of course, a headphone jack. Final thoughts? 
Well, I think that the BenQ MA32OU accomplishes what it set out to do. It complements the MacBook very well, and while it obviously isn't as nice as the Apple Studio displays, I think it works really well as a budget option that successfully keys off the Apple aesthetic and experience. But what are your thoughts? Any personal reviews or anecdotes are of course always appreciated, but there are a few specific things that I'd love to hear about in particular. Like, can you think of any use cases where it would be handy to use the Display Pilot 2 app to control settings on a display while it is being used by a secondary computer? Do you use the ePaper setting regularly, and how big of a selling point is that for you? And when I do these reviews, I often wonder just how well the accessibility options like color weakness settings actually work for folks who need them. If you have any answers to my curiosities, please let me know. I'm Scott with B&H. Keep it fun out there, y'all. Introducing the new Paybu credit card. You can save the tax or choose special financing for your purchases made on your Paybu credit card. It's easy. The new Paybu card, same funny name, your choice of exclusive benefits. Apply today.